Hello everybody. Final one. Uh, I'm still wearing my Netherlands shirt and we're gonna look at Netherlands shirts. And this is my actually my first Netherlands shirt from 2004, Euro 2004. And it's actually kind of a surprise because I've the Dutch have been right from, from, from the beginning my favorite, one of my two favorite teams. The other one being Italy, right here. Why Italy the Netherlands? It seems so contrary. Well, AC Milan. Uh, when I started fan, this, when I started being a soccer fan, they were the best team. They had the Italian base with the Dutch strikers up front, and that's of course why I like the Dutch. I always liked Marco van Basten, Ruud Hulit, but I also liked my Maldinis and Paresis. And I always had a from the beginning. I always had a like for Italy. I uh, started. I was before I was soccer. I was more into history, and architecture, and the Romans are still my favorite thing. So you know, my favorite period of history. But I didn't have a Netherlands shirt for the longest times, and that actually started bugging me. I mean, at first, it was never that I had the chance to get one. I know that around 1990, my brother got a replica, and he liked the Ronald Koeman so much, so he had even had made a four made on it. Uh, but I never got one because I had my Italy shirt, and I don't know. And then I think it was starting the 94 kit I liked, uh, but you know, I didn't have actually the means, and then I wanted to have more Brazil uh kit for some reason and then the 98 kit uh didn't convince me too much because it was with the black and then 2000 i never liked the orange with the black i really didn't like the 2000 kits 2002 they remained that and then 2004 and it's almost a decade if not more that i really want to have a dutch jersey and didn't get really one and then they come out with this one and it was with orange and white I still maintain I like my Dutch jerseys best with orange and white. There was no way I'm not going to get this one. So I got it 2004 right ahead, ahead, ahead of Euro 2004. And I have to say, I actually also liked the template back then a lot uh, with this kind of shield on the front. There's something nice about it. Of course, now I a little bit find it odd that the lion is centered and you have the Nike swoosh here. And this side is completely empty. I think the match details on this shirt were here and then there was the number in a circle below. That always looked odd to me. Um, but you know, for me it was important to get an orange shirt and with the white I actually liked it. The other weird thing was that they had on this sleeve this weird swooshy thing and nothing on this side. Uh, so yeah, that was of course a little bit weird. Um, also that it's only the white showing on the collar here, why she does, doesn't go around, but on the inside it's all white. But um, the back, I know Brazil had here a green back and I'm actually happy that the Dutch stay, stay, stay with the orange, although I could imagine white here, but then this would also all be white. I'm not sure what would look better. Let, let me know what you think. Maybe this could have made a nice accent. But yeah, they had the name here, so uh, you can see there should be a nameplate, but it's not really there. But it's actually quite some nice ventilation. And there's also a lot of ventilation, even the replica jersey here on the side, if you can see. Um, and it's made in such a way that you actually cannot really fold this shirt nicely, because it's really hanging through here, as you can see. This was the one jersey that I never could, when I still folded them. I started in 2008, I think I started hanging them. But when I fold for them, this was always one that I could never fold nicely. But yeah, it may not be my favorite Dutch jersey. I think all the others I have, I like more, but it's my first one and I still like to wear it. It has kind of a loose fit that is really nice to wear. Um, I would like to have one of these uh, in white with the orange too. I think they, they also look nice. But if you can see here, yeah, there's the shield also on the back and also on the front. I really like this outline. There was some, some, something about it I liked and Brazil and the Netherlands did it right. Portugal kind of straightened it out too much back then. Let me know what you think about this jersey. Um, do you have any memories attached to that one? Euro 2004, they made it to the semifinals at that time. They were one of the most successful nations uh, making it at least to the quarterfinals of every tournament that they were, have been in since 92. And that uh, was, was a big achievement. And yeah, 2004 was more a transition period for the Dutch. I think uh, when from Boston took, took over, this was not the generation that peaked in 2010. And yeah, interesting times for sure. 
again give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this there's a whole lot of orange now talk to you soon bye